My name is Anna Brooks and I'm a Senior Research Fellow and also Core Director for Auckland Cytometry at Auckland University in New Zealand. I'm working on a particular cell type in adipose tissue called a mesenchymal stromal cell. Uh, we're very interested in these cells because they are thought to be homogeneous, but they're probably not, and we've already started to see that they are heterogeneous. So the reason for this is that these cells are widely studied. They're widely studied for use in cell therapies, and there's a lot of controversies around that, so understanding if they're actually heterogeneous is really important. They're, and they're also very important in other aspects of disease, such as cancer and um, adipid, um, uh, obesity related and metabolic disease as well and essentially they're, they're considered almost the same cell type so understanding what this one cell type and how heterogeneous that one cell type is is, is going to be really important and so flow cytometry is a really good technique to be able to dissect that heterogeneity. If I was to advise anyone on getting a Aurora, I'd say absolutely go for it. It's a really easy to use instrument, uh, it's a great price point and it's, ex it's expandable up to multiple lasers. So you can start off with three and as fun, if you get more funding, you can go up to th uh, four or five. Um, so it's a really affordable system compared to conventional cytometry, which makes it a fantastic instrument to, to get into. Autofluorescent subtraction has been one of the key aspects been able to uh, do lots of cultured work and do multicolour panels on cultured cells, especially things like macrophages, and being able to dissect multiple colours at once has been, has been a game changer for the lab and created a lot of excitement. The future of uh, spectral cytometry with the SciTech Aurora is, is, is looking really great. It, it's such a great instrument. At the moment we've got four lasers. We're hoping to go to a five laser system to, to be able to dissect the heterogeneity of these, uh, this, these cell populations that are so important. We just are only just starting to touch the surface. We're in the area of about 15 to 20 colours and if we can go beyond 30 and start to really understand the different cell populations that we can tease apart, that's a really exciting space to be in.